Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I am going to do a pre-lab lecture on the activity, the separation and purification of organic compounds. Now, the first part of this activity is the recrystallization of the acetanilide. In recrystallizing the acetanilide, we are going to weigh first the crystals of the acetanilide. So I have here the acetanilide placed into the top loading, but of course this has to be protected with the filter paper. So I am placing here first the filter paper, weigh it, and the weight of the filter paper is 0.8. Since in the procedure, we're asked to weigh 6 grams of the acetanilide, so the total weight must be 6.8 grams. So as you can see here, it is already 6.8 grams. So this is the acetanilide. Then let us transfer this acetanilide crystals into the beaker. And with the use of the hot water, we're going to dissolve it. Okay, now the temperature of the water is now 90 degrees, so we're going to use this to dissolve the acetanilide. So we have already dissolved the acetanilide crystals. Then we are going to add here the activated charcoal. And we will boil this for a few minutes while stirring. Since the mixture has already boiled, we're going to filter this using a fluted folded filter paper and we're going to collect the filtrate. This is one part of the filtrate, and I'm going to place this into the ice bath. This is an ice bath. It contains, of course, the ice. We're going to cool this uh, rapidly using the ice bath. And I'm going to filter the remaining amount of the mixture. And with this filtrate, we are going to cool this at room temperature, at ordinary temperature. So place it there. Later on, we are going to compare the crystals that are exhibited when the filtrate is being cooled rapidly, while the other one is when it is only cooled at room temperature. So there is a slow cooling here Whereas in the other one, there is a rapid cooling. We are going to compare the appearance of the crystals later on.
The second part of this activity is the extraction. Now, we are going to use the separatory funnel. Into the separatory funnel, we are going to place here the benzoic acid and the table sugar. So, this is the benzoic acid. So, the This is benzoic acid. We're going to place this into the separatory panel. Let's add some more. Then we are going to add the table sugar. This is the table sugar. Into this mixture now, we are going to add 100 ml of water. That's 25. Another 25 that makes up 50. Another 25 in L that makes up 75 and a quarter now. another 25 so this is now 100 ml of water let us shake it for a point Then we are going to add 25 ml of chloroform into the liquefied sugar and the benzoic acid. This is to dissolve the benzoic acid. So this is the 25 ml chloroform. I'm going to add it here. And we are going to shake the mixture now. Let us allow the two liquids to settle or separate so that we can drip out and let the lower layer of the liquid flow out first. Which do you think? of the two layers here is the chloroform layer or which is the aqueous layer so we are going to drip out the lower layer of the mixture And we are going to place this into the hot water bath. This is the hot water bath. And we are going to place our extract into it. And we are going to observe the crystals later. And we are going to place this into the fume hood. Why? Because of the chloroform that would evaporate out.
then we are going to wait for the chloroform to be evaporated out in order to leave the crystals as residue. The third part of this activity is sublimation. I got one half portion of the filtrate that I extracted it here from the benzoic acid portion and we're going to heat this over a very low flame covering it with a florence glass. So this will be the setup now. I am covering already the liquid inside the beaker with a florence glass. Then let's heat it for 15 minutes. I want you to observe the crystals which are deposited at the bottom of the Florence glass. And we're going to scrape this out from the bottom of the glass. So we have obtained back the benzoic acid. So we're now going to make observations for the first part of this activity that is on recrystallization. This was the acetanilide which was placed onto that cold water bath. And this was the acetanilide filtrate which we only cool it at room temperature. I want you to compare the size of the crystals. And I want you also to observe the result for the extraction of process wherein we extracted the benzoic acid using this separatory funnel when it was mixed with the sugar solution. After it has been evaporated off using the water bath and we place this into the fume hood, and this is now the result. So that would be all for the activity on separation and purification of organic compounds. This is your teacher, Professor Lisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.